Hey guys, um, it's been a long day. Got the door hung. It's nice and straight. Of course, it's sitting on the striker, but I wanted to show you what I did and how I hung it. We're gonna hang this driver on this driver side, and I was concerned with the A pillars. The passenger side was a little a little bit of a bugger, and I'll show you how I had to fix that. Basically. You have to tweak the hinge a little bit because my my dimensions were exactly what I took before I cut them out but something to do with the aftermarket a pillar was different not by much but it was different so my doors are actually a little tight so what I do is I'm I spring the hinge just I'm talking about you can't even hardly look at it until but I'll show you how I did that this one only needs to be sprung on the top so we'll go over here to the press and I'll show you how I do that. Well, this is something else. When you guys look at my hinges, I went and bought some pins and bronze bushings. I haven't countersunk it so I can set the pin all the way in it and then I'll cut the bottom off. But this, uh, the original hinges were in pretty bad shape. I'll be blast these, clean them up. Again, we're just fitting, so when you guys see something like paint on the doors or anything else, I gotta get it fit, then we'll take it apart and make it pretty. So right now, this is just sitting in here, so I have a nice tight hinge. All right, so what I've done is I've got my my hinge in here. I've got just a piece of bar stock under under it, just forward of the first mounting hole. And I put the pin in it just so I can make sure that I don't have any trouble there when I press this and just a large bolt. Right about where the, the steel starts, my bolt is just right on top of there. And I, I just want to give it about a sixteenth pitch up. So basically what it's going to do is just going to take that and move the pin out a little bit. And what, that, and what that'll do is that'll increase my gap just a little bit on the top. And we should be in good shape. So I'm gonna just show you. I'm gonna put just a little bit of pressure on it. See that paint bust? That's all I want. Right there. And it's not much. I'll show you when we pull it out. See if you if you can look down the plane of it, right in here. You can see it, it moves up just a little bit and that'll give me just, I'm talking about, I needed about a sixteenth for the top to shut like it's supposed to. So we'll go put this back on the door and try it out. All right, y'all laugh at my, my adjustable door holder as my knees in an adjustable chair. It's kind of easy to hold the door. I'm just going to push the door up kind of slow so you can see I'm not holding it up or pushing down. You see it's my hands just that little tweak that held the uh, it got my door right where I want it and then you can see the gap and that's sort of hard to show on that black and you see behind it sort of back up a little bit and show them there you go. And then across the bottom, let's see where the rocker hits. It's nice and straight. I'm really pleased with the driver's side. It, uh, we're at a, a workable point right now. I like it. I love it. So we're going to go, I need to do a little adjustment on the passenger side. But, uh, we're going to get these rockers welded in. And wait on my 
apron for the front so we can get started up there, get the front finished up. We got a lot of grinding to do and prettying up, but just the overall assembly is coming together real well. And, uh, and these videos are real time for those of you that are subscribing and catching them as they come out because uh, we, Joni spends time and edits it and we put it on so within a day or two you see what we've done over the weekend. Be ready to move on to April next weekend. But I uh, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and uh, like and subscribe. See you next time.